boys and girl, girls. Uh, my name is Miss, Mrs. Linda King, and I'm going to be telling you the story today about Moses. I know that last week you were told a story about Moses that's in the Bible, how God talked to Moses through a burning bush, to, and then said, told him that he had a very special job for him to do. Well, today we're going to hear a story about Moses also. And he's going to be uh, do that special job that, that uh, you ended your story with last week. And so the job that God gave Moses was that he wanted Moses to lead his people out of Egypt because they were in slavery and they were, um, um, the king was, was, uh, using them as slaves to do all his work and and he God wanted them to be free so they could worship him and follow him so um, God told Moses that I'm going to help you and he gave him a, um, a person called, named Aaron to help him with his job and he helped him talk to the king so Moses went to the people and said you know what I'm going to get us free and we're going to get out of here and we're going to we're going to go to a new land and we're going to follow the Lord and the people were so excited they could hardly wait so Moses went to the king and he said let my people go let them go and the king kept saying no no and no and so then one night after many bad things had happened to Pharaoh and his people Pharaoh told Moses, get out, get out. I want you to get out and you take your flocks and you take your people and you get out of here now. So Moses went to the people and he was so excited and he goes, we got to leave now. We have no time. We have to leave now. So the people just took whatever they could take real fast and they went back to Moses and met together. And then they said, how are we going to get there? And did Moses know where to go? No, but God, God did. And God was not going to leave Moses now. God told Moses, he said, I'm going to put this cloud in the sky and I want you to follow it. And he had a big cloud in the sky during the daytime. He had this cloud and the people Right there they are with their flocks and everything. They were to follow this cloud and it was just going to lead them. So this cloud and the people followed the cloud and they walked and they walked and they walked and I bet they were so tired. And they continued to walk until they ran into this great big body of water. And they're like, now what do we do? We can't go any further. And the king's going to come back and get this. But then you know what? God still didn't leave them. He told Moses exactly what to do to get those people across the water. He said, you take your staff. And he had a staff, something like this. And he says, you take your staff and you hold it right there by the water. And so Moses did that. And then the wind started blowing so hard. Maybe you can help me. That it made that water go up on one side and then it made the water go up on the other side until there was a path right there in the middle that was all dry on land. So the people hurried and they crossed the water as fast as they could go, one family after another. And when Moses saw the last family cross, God told him to put the staff up again like this, put it up, and the Lord made all the water and he stopped the wind and the water looked just like it did before so the, the Pharaoh's 
the teams men could not get to God's people and they were safe on the other side of the Red Sea and that night they set up their tents and they probably cooked and they probably slept really well and they looked up into the sky and you know what they saw? They saw a pillar of fire right there. Pillar of fire. They saw that pillar and God used that pillar of fire and there they are again to lead them at night to the land of Canaan where they were supposed to be going. And then during the day, he would, he would use the cloud to lead them. So God took care of his people and he never left them. And that's what, he, that's what he'll do for you. He will never leave you. Trust in God, trust in Jesus. And he will never leave you. He will take care of you and keep you safe. We thank you. And we're going to pray now. Thank you, Lord, for all these children here today. We thank you that they know that you are the one and only God. And that you will take care of them. Just like you sent your son Jesus into this world to die for them. So that they may know you. We pray that you keep them safe this week and protect them. Thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And one more thing. Oh, wait, two more things actually I want to go over. Is your memory verse. And here it is right here. Just like our story was about how God was always with them. And it goes like this. I am with you always. 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 I am with you always. Matthew 28, 22. And if you say that, say it over and over, and then you'll know it, and you can say it to your mommy, and then she can give you a stamp, and you'll know that God is with you always. And there's one more thing I want to share with you today, and I love to share little poems and stuff, and this is a little song, and it goes to the tune of London Bridge, and it's called God is With You. And it says, it says, God is with you all the time, all the time, all the time. God is with you all the time because God loves you. One more time. Let's try one more time. God is with you all the time, all the time, all the time. God is with you all the time because God loves you. You have a great week. Till we see each other again. Bye-bye.